Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to update your EG4 inverters via the EG4 Monitor Center and mobile app. To get started, you'll need to have your dongle plugged into your inverter, have it set up and registered with your Monitor Center account. Log in on the Monitor Center at monitor.eg4electronics.com. Once you're logged in, you can actually check the serial numbers of your inverters to see which one you're needing to update. Go to the Maintenance tab and click on the Remote Update section, and that'll bring you to the Firmware Update area. I only have one inverter connected, so this is pretty easy to figure out which one I need. Pressing the blue question mark and then clicking Check More will take you to a firmware changelog that shows all of the modifications made between firmware versions. You can see the differences between your current firmware version and the latest firmware version here. The best practice is to update to the latest version of firmware on the monitor site, unless instructed otherwise by an installer or technician. Now that we know which inverter we're wanting to update and the version number we're updating to, simply press Standard Update under the Action column and it will begin updating your inverter automatically. You want to make sure your inverter is connected this whole time as it is downloading and then installing the software. You'll see that for the 18KPV, there are four digits after the four letter code FAAB-1514. These are split into two different firmwares where you have XX two digits and then two digits XX. I'm only updating one for the time being, but in most cases you will see two. The 6000 XP is a little different though, as you'll see there are six digits after the CCAA. There are three firmware versions associated with those six digits where you have, you know, two digits and then the X's fill in the other slots. If you are interrupted during your firmware update process and your numbers misalign, you can use the change log to figure out which numbers correlate with which. Please note that the update status of success means that the inverter successfully downloaded the firmware and will need to start installing it. It'll do that automatically, but that is not tracked through the web monitor. Once the firmware installation is done, you will need to restart your inverter. In most cases, this will also happen automatically, but it's always best to be around to make sure everything goes smoothly. Your system will not have power during the restart. Now that we've updated our inverter through the monitor center, let's take a look at the mobile app. The mobile app is best used when initially commissioning a system as you don't need an account login to update your firmware. Mine's set to auto login, so I'll need to log out. When you're on the main screen, press the download firmware button. You can select between 6000 XP and 18 KPV and then press the download button. Make sure there are black check marks next to each of the files. From here, go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to your Wi-Fi dongle. This cannot be done through the cell and hardwire dongles as those require going through the web app. Turning off mobile data also helps to ensure that you're connecting to the dongle. Press device and update and TCP connect. Then go to your settings and press update firmware. Press update firmware once more and the process will begin. Remember that your inverter will need to be restarted after installation. There is also a firmware change log available on the download screen of the mobile app. Here you can see the various versions that you want of the 18K and 6000 XP firmware. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you in the next one.